what up guys um today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to uh, install an eboot on your jailbroken ps3 through filezilla and i'll be going through what um what you'll need and um how to do it i'm going to try and make it uh, as good as possible and in depth in depth as possible the links will be in the description so you won't have to go to the um, internet browsers I go to you can just go to the links so firstly you're gonna download WinRAR if you don't already have it it's um a tool that opens up the files that you'll be downloading so we're gonna search up WinRAR go to the download and for the purpose of the video because I've already got it downloaded I'm not going to download it but yeah you just click the blue button it doesn't really matter if you go on this page or another page you just download it um you can download 64 bit or 32 bit it really doesn't matter but um if you want check your computer settings and download it for your computer after you've downloaded winrar the next thing you want to do is download um filezilla so when you get winrar this is what would pop up this stuff here and if it says you need to start a free trial or your trial is over, it doesn't matter. The trial never ends really. So now we're going to be downloading FileZilla. And it is the one that says... Um, it's not that one. Yep. I'm just FileZilla. You should get to this page here. Links will be in the description so you can't really fuck up. And you proceed by clicking the green button download and then you go to another screen and it will say download and you press that I'm going to cut it here for the purpose of the video there's no point of downloading it so I'm just going to cross it off and once you've downloaded that I'm going to look for it here I think I'm going to find the setup so I'm going to show you what happens when you open it uh, yep there we go drag that to my desktop so then that would pop up as you downloaded it and you agree with everything make sure you make a desktop item I gotta go back click on it there we go and let it do its thing and at this point you want to turn on your ps3 and go to rebug toolbox and make sure you are in rebug toolbox or this won't work now when i'm i'm in here right now and to know your comp to know your um ps3's ip you will need to click on the first option on rebug toolbox but yeah now back to the um here what i'm doing is getting an eboot this is what you, this is what the video is about an eboot so i just typed in multiplayer eboot but before i typed in a zombies eboot it doesn't really well it, i don't know what you want but it, they're both eboots so we're just going to do this a multiplayer eboot but um on the site here on this web page it actually has both eboot zombies and um multiplayer um, when you get here, I'll link this, you have to make an account to download all the stuff, it's really easy, you could just make an email, but it has to be a legitimate email, and then once you've signed in, you can download all the stuff, and it's really helpful, they give you all the tips and tricks and shit, so yeah, as I was saying before, get your PS3 ready, go to Rebug Toolbox, click the first option, and it'll say check all settings, and it'll tell you your PS3's IP there. Just make sure you know your PS3's IP and make sure you're connected to the internet. So what you would do, you would scroll down and click on whichever you want, whichever one you want. Make it easier if you don't know what you're doing. Um, multiplayer eboot, take that one. Zombies eboot, take that one. Don't go on anything else and you must know if you click those X. Once again, if you are in Reebok Toolbox, you click the first option that says... Um, system settings it'll tell you if your kex or dex 
and you just download it for that. Then you would just download here, wait for the file to download, and I'll show you what to do after that. Now, if you did put an eBoot on, you load the game and it freezes or error, it might be because you got the wrong eBoot for your console. As in, maybe you got Dex for Kex or Kex for the Dex. So that is why. Uh, this download's taking a while. Let me just speed her up real quick. Okay. Exit that. And it's already open, but I'm going to take it back to show you what it would probably look like for you. Otherwise, if it's like this, just drag it to your home screen. And um, yeah. So I'm going to go back here, oops, going to go one forward, now this is how it would probably come. If it goes to your desktop, you're going to right click it and go extract here. And when you do that, it would pop up on the desktop as just a, a white page. So I'm just going to go down to one of my eBoots that I've already, it'll pop up there, but I'm just going to go down to one of my eBoots that I've already got, just to show you. So what you do, this is my IP that pops up. You can't DOS this, it's an internal IP, not an external IP. So you would just type your IP in. Mine is um, 10.0.0.115 and you don't touch the username, password or the port, just straight to quick connect. and Instead of going to multi-man, this is the quickest way. This gets, this goes through all your settings on your PS3. Once you're here, you want to go to dev underscore hdDO. Make that full screen. Then you go to game. Then you go to bless 1717. That's Call of Duty. Then you go to USDIR. And then you place your eBoot in here. Yours will have less stuff unless you have the exact same stuff as me because I have all the DLCs and stuff. So then you will just open your folder and drag your eBoot in the folder there and you're done. All you do is just exit Rebug Toolbox from your PS3 or from the computer. And then you should load the game and you should have no recoil and all the stuff you download really. Remember this can only be done with a jailbroken PS3. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, peace.